Police have announced the arrest of a 22-year-old man in the shooting that killed University of Utah football player Aaron Lowe exactly one week ago today. News specialist Garner Mejia has the latest. And Garner, what are police saying? Yeah, good afternoon, you guys. You know, this remains a very active investigation. Police could only tell us that they do not believe that either of the two victims knew their attacker. They had to make another very difficult call early this morning to Lowe's parents. We spoke with Lowe's mom, who tells us that she knew the moment that phone rang what that call would be about. We have arrested the person accused of murdering Aaron Lowe. Salt Lake City Police Chief Mike Brown made the announcement during a press conference today. 22-year-old Book and Book was named the suspect in the shooting that ended the University of Utah football player's life. Aaron Lowe's mom says she got the update early this morning. I can't get my baby back, but I know that I'll get justice. According to police, the second victim, a 20-year-old young woman, is still in critical condition. So many lives have been impacted from the senseless shooting. Police say Book was located in Draper. Detectives conducted more than two dozen interviews and say they executed search warrants in Draper and Layton. We must continue to protect the integrity of this investigation. Salt Lake City Mayor Aaron Mendenhall also expressed her condolences to Lowe's family. No parent should ever have to bury their child. Brown and Mendenhall declined to answer any reporter questions, but Brown said he doesn't believe the shooting was targeted. This was not a targeted attack against the university. Its athletic department or Aaron Lowe. Nevertheless, arresting documents indicate witnesses saw Book retrieve a gun from another person's shoulder bag. They saw him, quote, walk down the driveway and across the street. He fired two or three shots at the victims. Witnesses then, quote, observed Book Book walk up to the victims and shoot five or six more times while they were on the ground. The surviving victim later told detectives he was, quote, trying to finish them off. Book was already on probation. His long rap sheet includes aggravated robbery in October of 2019, for which he was booked into jail. Now, police also said that they do not believe the shooting was tied to domestic violence. That after one of the court documents released today uh, described it as such. Nevertheless, as we said, this investigation is still ongoing and police are asking anyone with information, especially videos, to come forward. Debbie? All right, Garner Mejia reporting live. Thanks, Garner, for that report.